hi everyone and especially Luke if you're watching I'm trying to replicate your experiment with your microwave oven transformer uh, this is running on 230 volts um, it's 50 Hertz uh, I got the mains over here and I got the switch and the fuse and then go into this meter showing what up here then go into this uh, meter showing uh, watts and power factor and vars down there and then i'm going further uh, in series this capacitor the primary on the transformer and then back and on the secondary i have this uh, 40 watt light bulb for 230 volts and i'm that's uh, across the secondary and I'm also measuring the volts across secondary. So now let's see what happens when we turn this on. First, I'll switch the fuse on and then I'll put it on. Okay. Let's go to the secondary. Uh, I've got uh, 157 volts and the light bulb isn't fully lit, but you can see yourself. Uh, the power factor is about uh, 0.08 and it says 31 watts but if you look at this meter it says 0 watts so and it's fluctuating between 0 and 3 sometimes it's when just when it started it goes up to 7 but then it goes down to zero so i don't know about uh why this one is showing 31. Uh, we can go down in the menu and look at the, the amperage that's not the amperage that's the max amperage. here's the amperage it's uh, 1.63 amps as you can see and uh, let's go up again So I, I'm not sure what this is all about and why it's not um, on par with this one. I don't know. But uh, yeah, and of course, um, uh, the capacitor is uh, 22 microfarads. And if I go lower, I will get uh, an even smaller power factor. But uh, then I won't have as much uh, current going in the, in the LC tank. So, uh, well, thanks for watching.